Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Euro 2020 predictions. I can't believe already we're nearly at the end of this competition. But yeah, just two games da uh, down now to predict. Both being played at Wembley Stadium, which is exactly the same stadium you can see behind me. I know you probably what stadium it is behind me anyway. So I didn't know why I said that, but anyway guys, you know what to do. There's a lot of big fat fans up there enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to try and predict is Italy versus Spain. Italy, I think more than likely will be down for as favourites now. If you look over the tournament, if you look over the way they've been playing. If, you know, it's really cool in Italy's favour. Spain, on the other hand, were very lucky to get through, if I may say so. But only because, you know, went all the way down to penalties and Switzerland ruined their chances to basically play Italy in the semi-final. Italy, are, on the other hand, you know, so good in so many areas. I think I actually, what, well, yeah, I think it's the Italy game. I did watch, I did watch the Spain game as well, but not as much. Italy to me just really seem, you know, top dollar uh, and, you know, really good odds. Probably favourites when, as I said, I ain't quite sure I ain't looked at that side of the pyramid yet. But, you know, this game really is going to be interesting. Being played at Wembley, neutral venues. Which one am I going to call this one? I'm going to call this one an Italy win, I think. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Italy win. Obviously the next one is England versus Denmark. England beating Ukraine 4-0. A brilliant night to be an England fan. Now obviously I did watch the England game uh, out and about. With me, with England, I realised in this competition under Gareth Southgate, he's been wise with his selection, if you know what I mean. I mean, you look at last night, Jadon Sancho's first start in the Euro 2020. I looked at that, and if you follow me on social media, you sh you might see my post, you know, where I did sort of have that thinking emoji. But, you know, Gareth Southgate called it spot on yet again. And, uh, you know, you look at that from the England perspective, brilliant football, you, you know, you... I don't think in one game in this year, 2020, to play the sorts that are the same tactics. If you know what I mean by tactics, you know, you know, but if you don't, it's basically just the way the teams want to play football. I don't think Gareth Southgate has, as I said, shows like to play the same way in, you know, more, I think obviously it's got more, more than one way to play, which is fair play to Gareth. As I go back to his selection, I think it's been spot on. He's basically gone with me. My thinking is every player he's picked, he's done it with the games in mind. Is it going to pay off? Is it going to work? Obviously, we're just two games to go. England needs to win both to obviously win Euro 2020. Oh, I dread when England player will get so nervous. When I'm watching them play, especially in major competitions like this, and especially around at this time where it's so close. But yeah, I ain't gonna say the words, obviously. So, just go back over to Denmark quickly. Denmark to me, over this tournament, okay, it's a shame what happened to Christian Eriksen. I'm proud to see him back on his feet. I'm proud to see him, you know, out and about on social media and stuff. But, they have been very lucky to get through to this far of Euro 2020. Or should I call it Euro 2021? No, I don't call it Euro 2020. But anyway, they have been very lucky. I think they came through in third spot, if I remember. Now, if you look at that with third spot, are we going to go up and score against England, who has not exceeded a goal in Euro 2020 yet. So I'm going to predict this from between England and Denmark. 
Well, why do I call it? Obviously, I'm going to stick up for my national team, as I've always done, all the way through this competition. Sorry if you've got any Danish fans or, you know, people from Denmark. Unfortunately, we had to cross our paths at some point. Just before I make my prediction, I'm glad England and Japan, Denmark over Czech Republic. Czech Republic made our game so difficult when we played them at Wembley. So, you know, I'm well with Japan and Denmark this time round. And as, you know, as I said, fair play to them. Just be very lucky. I think they went from penalties as well. But anyway, going through with my predictions for this game. As I said, I'm going to call it an England win. I'm going to call it... Now, last time I went for 2-1, I think. And it finished 4-0. I can't see England scoring as many as they did against Ukraine. So I'm going to go for a 2 nil scoreline for that one. But anyway guys, just a quick video. You know, my uh, semi-final GOA 2020 predictions. I'll be back for the final. And then obviously you see what happens from there. But anyway guys, as always, you know what to do if you enjoyed this video. Do a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.